Howdy y'all, we got a good video for y'all today. This is TJ and I'm Jeremy. We both got these San Lita bows uh, with all the San Lita accessories, the sight, the rest, and the stabilizer. Uh, we're gonna sight them in. We've already set them to our draw length, so I got mine on 28. What did we end up setting yours 30. on? 30. TJ's is on 30. Uh, we're both running about 55 pounds. Um, we got some some arrows set up here. I've got a Black Eagle Renegade that's running like 375 grains and it, it's shooting uh, 260 feet per second. I've got a Easton Full Metal Jacket at 445 running 259. Running yeah, about 445. So I think what we're going to do is side in a few pins and kind of show you how that works. So these sights, if you get a Dragon Bow X8, uh, you got five pins. So I'm going to take my top pin and go ahead and slide it up so that I can get maximum range out of the rest of them. And to do that, all I got to do is go right here and I'm going to slide that one pin to the top and set like a 20 yard pin and then see kind of how far we get. And then here in a minute, we'll do a little bit of group shooting and just see how these bows shoot. Uh, so far, we've had good luck with these bows. A lot of folks have called us about them. If you need to ask any questions, just give us a call. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a good bow fishing bow. It's a good kids bow, ladies bow, good starter bow. So we've been impressed with them. No trouble whatsoever with them so far. But let us know if you have any questions and uh, we're going to start sighting these things in. Yep. All right, so we started out, TJ shot a little high, so that means we'd move his sight up. You always follow the arrow, no matter the bow. I started low, so I moved my sight down. I ended up here, and this is just always advised to start at sort of a close target, maybe five, 10 yards, just to make sure you'll hit the target. And now that we're a little closer, we'll start with about 20 yards. So on these sights, you've kind of got a gang adjustment here on this side and there's your screw on the bottom for left and right so what i do is move my pin to the very top and then i move the whole sight housing using this screw right here and i get my 20 i'm gonna set a 20 30 40 50 maybe 60. Um, and then once i get my 20 set i'll go to each individual pin and get them set so we're getting it going here it'll take a few minutes you don't want to wear yourself out and, uh, you know, I usually, if I was going to set this for good, you know, I'd set it, take a break, maybe come back tomorrow, check it again, just make sure it's good, not me just flinging arrows. All right, we've took about 30 minutes and got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 set. You kind of see my pin gap there. It'll be different for each person. So, you know, just kind of once you get your 20 set, eyeball it and... Uh, go to the next yardage and you don't necessarily have to do those exact yardages it's just kind of what we wanted to do so what we're going to do here in a second is uh, we're going to shoot some 60 yard groups with these bows and just see how they do and y'all can see what's what's going on but so far it's a decent feeling bow i got the black one tj's got the camo one uh, one thing to mention is really one of the only downfalls of this bow is you get a little bit of peep twist on this string mm -hmm. but we do offer custom strings here from our shop so if you go to archeryshackstrings.com uh, this is a three-piece set you can order one for a San Lita Dragon X8 and we can do any color we pre-stretch them and you don't get all the twist a lot of the entry-level bows have the peep twist problem but we've made several sets so far for these bows but Anyway, let's see what happens at 60 yards. Here goes 60 yards, wish us luck.
thing about 60 yards is it is a long way so it don't take much and it flings them off but we gave it a good shot not too bad i don't think we'll see honestly not bad at all 60 yards um i'm really happy with that the um i mean this definitely if you hadn't shot before don't you know think you can just start shooting at 60 or more yards and and do a you know stack them but for a package that costs around 200 dollars, this is not bad at all very happy well there you have it uh hopefully you learned something or helped somebody uh definitely this is a good bow for a, a kid a lady a beginner i mean you could you could shoot a deer with it you could shoot uh target with it any of that sort of thing um like I said, let us know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll put our links in the description. If you need one of these bows, I'll also put a link uh, to order one. And we'd appreciate it if you would use that. They offer it in a pro package as well. Comes with a release and arrows and that sort of thing. We hadn't uh, done a whole lot of tinkering with the, that package. I know that the arrows were a little bit of a weak spine. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion would be to get the regular package. Comes with the sight, the light the rest, stabilizer, wrist sling, uh, peep, and all that sort of thing for around the $200 price point, and then uh, go from there. But just let us know if we can answer any questions. Thanks sure. for tuning in and watching us, and we'll see y'all in the next video. See y'all.